Hi, today is Monday the 30th of November and this is the weekly recap. It's going to be very short because as you can see, it's a little bit of a glitch in one uh, with absolutely no grids being displayed. I assume this is correct because I see I have uh, pre-market data from market makers in London. And I assume also that my delta is but flat, slightly negative, and my vega is still on this side. So this trade is on the way to break even. And as I said previously, I overhedged around the elections. Then we got the Pfizer spike, which got my call rate spread into the, this IV inversion, and which so basically I had to roll, taking a little bit of a loss. So at this point, and I've, I've been saying that for the last few weeks, and it's quite important to, to have an objective in mind. And my objective for this cycle is just break even. So I'm going to go for a wash and let's see where do I have data. Yeah, we see that, um, and I've, seen, I've showed this already in the SPX Outlook video, we are in a configuration where IV is low, although it seems to be going back slightly above well it's it's we, we may go back to a more attractive market uh, the december inversion now is around 30 just it's just around 3750 3800 so the short calls on 3900 are pretty safe it is quite normal that this trough goes back towards the money as we come close to expiration so I think this, this CCS is safe. And well, if needed, I think I can add more, although I'd rather be cautious with core credit spreads. So this is for the IV picture. And so on this trade, I will probably do nothing. And if necessary, I will just pull one of these longs here just to get a little bit of profit. So that would be something in, more in line of a simplification by doing a short put condor here, I eliminate two strikes. So this is something I, I would be tempted to do today. This should have absolutely no effect on the Greeks. Of course, we will see whether this Greeks come back at the open. So really nothing much, just waiting now I've got two, two, just two and a half weeks to expiration. And unless the market surprises us, I would think that normally uh, Christmas rally, the market should, even there's some profit taking from the post election rally, I don't think the market will drop very dramatically. So uh, just a little bit of tuning, simplification of the trade and nothing more on this one. Now, now let's have a look at January. Yeah, um, I just added a split strike broken butterfly last week just to add some capital to the trade. I still have this hedge here, which is basically a Useless, so I could drop it for maybe something like uh, 20, 25 cents. If I do this, of course, reduce capital. As you can see, it will make absolutely no difference. Uh, probably get 10 cents, or oh, 25 cents. Oh, okay, so that could be a way to get the, the expression line closer to zero. Add back something around here, broken butterfly. When vol goes down, we are 46 DTE, so I should still go for a regular size broken butterfly. We're no longer in a high vol where I would go for um, 125 so 100. So that would be probably another 100 size 75. And of course, with volatility going down and maybe and, and time passing by, I could also go for a narrow broken butterfly. At the same time, it's a matter of making getting a little bit closer to the money. So if, if I was to add, uh, let's say a narrow and closer, that would be something like this. Of course, I don't see Delta. I assume Delta would be slightly positive. So it's not ex exactly what I would do. But if, if you're definitely bullish for the next four to six weeks, that is something you can consider. I still believe that we have in this transition, the fuel budget, to be approved, we have the stimulus package that is still a big question mark. And attention is going back to the US-China war. Let's call it uh, economic war for now. So we we have to be cautious. If, of course, if those elements are irrelevant to you, just go for something 
That is more natural for line of trading. It's regular 100 slice 75 closer to the money. So you could go for something um, maybe around here. That's also fine. I'm not saying that I'm not going to do it. I may actually go for that because again, time is passing and volatility is low. Um, I'm waiting for see what would be the Greek effect on this one, but this is a fairly safe trade. And if Delta builds up, this type of upside risk is very, very reasonable. Okay, that is it for now. Of course, without the Greeks, there's not much else I can show you. So I suggest you touch base with me on Slack for an update. Thank you for watching and bye for now.